I left this to dry overnight and as you can see it both warped and unfortunately cracked. Uh, the warping is expected since I've worked with Plum before. It tends to move quite a lot when it dries. The cracking however is a bit unfortunate. I sort of expected that to happen as well. Um, there's two solutions. It's either putting it in the lathe again but I feel that the bowl would be too shallow if I did so. So I'm gonna try instead and make three feet so that I can stand on those and I will grind away the cracks and hopefully that will solve it. To spread the feet equally apart or symmetrical, I took a divider, I put it on the rim and then I walked around adjusting the divider so that it would end up at kind of the same spot while moving it around like this. Again using my divider, I set the divider up so that it's the same width as the crack is long and then I just follow along the rim and mark out how far I will need to sand this down to get rid of the crack and also make the three feet. There we go, the feet are done. I will now finish this with a mineral oil and then I might apply a second layer of paste wax which is mineral oil that I've mixed with the beeswax. There we go. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more weekly wood turning videos from now on. And here I will leave a clip on the first time I attempted this. This was more successful. Hence the second attempt.